Hi everybody, we are going to be looking at chest pockets today. You can see a nice example here, one of Mark's own jackets. Yep, so it has a, it's, it's slightly angled, so the thing is the pocket's on an angle um, to the centre front. And then um, this one's actually, the, this, the right hand corner is a bit more exaggerated. Um, but we're just going to have it so that it will actually go up, but it won't be quite so pointed on that side. And you can see it just has a single welt. And then when you flip it to the inside, um, they've actually, they've used the same fabric for the pocket linings, but we're actually using a lining fabric for, um, um, for these lining pieces here. Um, yeah, so it's pretty easy and we'll get into it. Yes. Now I've got the various pieces for the pocket construction. Sure. So here you can see you'll have a piece which is this would be like the center front of the jacket and we have our, our two drill holes and you can see that the drill holes aren't beside each other like on welt pockets. They're actually at an angle and that creates the angle that you saw on the jacket. So then we have that and then we have our the actual pocket piece and it'll sit in there with the ends bagged out. So end up looking like that. Um, and then we have two lining pieces and the lining pieces are different lengths so you just have to make sure that when you're sewing them on that um, this the shorter one is the one that goes on top of this and this is the one that goes behind because it has like and the difference between them the 12 millimeters difference in the length is the actual opening uh, that's created when you when you're sewing the pocket okay, okay. so you've got the little the weld piece here yep this is our pocket welt piece and you can see it's different on one side because it actually it's already fused for you um, but uh, yeah if you were doing your own you'd have you'd have fusing on that piece okay so we're just going to fold it so we've got the right sides of the fabric together with the the uh, interfacing facing up and we're just going to do a six mil seam on switch the machine on and then six mil seam on each end. Okay, so they're both ends done. Now this, because it's got to fold back, and if we fold it back, you've got that little bit there, you can actually just snip that corner off a tiny bit just but just like not right back to the stitching because it'll come undone mm -hmm. just like a millimeter or two away from yeah. it okay so we'll just snip that and then fold it to the inside and then you'll just have to get your snips and just gently work that corner out so you've got quite a quite a sharp corner there and then the other side's easier because it's a it's a less severe angle so you don't have to trim that away and that one works quite well just snip that last little bit out there okay so there are two ends mm -hmm. so it's finished now just to make it easier to hold together we're just just a couple of millimeters from the edge we're just going to just going to stitch these two together so just make sure that that's within your six mil seam allowance okay so it's just, just so that you're working with one, it, it's like you're working with one piece now rather than the two pieces moving. Now this is, you have to think about this too. Now when we place the, the pocket onto the actual fabric, um, it's, you can see that when you, like it'll finish that way, which means that you have to pull it back this way. So it'll be pointing out to the right hand side and both of the, the drill holes should be within uh, just make sure that they're within the ends and so the raw edge see the yeah. drill holes so there you're covering them. yeah so it will it, it'll just sit uh, yeah exactly it's, it's it'll cover them lengthwise but the the uh, drill hole should sit just on the raw edge of the of the fabric mm -hmm. okay now we're going to start to so make sure that you start right on the end there and do back tack and just check that this hasn't moved around so it's still lined up with your drill hole at this end. And you're sewing that at 0.6. Yeah, 0.6. And don't go too, like I've just literally gone just over the edge 
of the of the pocket there. If you mm. if you stitch too far when you clip in, those stitches will come undone, and there's a chance that the the you know the welt will actually come away. So literally just just right over the edge there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got that stitched in place. Now this is also uh, a little bit tricky, so because we've got two pieces of two different sizes. So the one, the smaller one, uh, goes on this side here, and then the bigger one will go this way. And just make sure that they're sort of they're mirrored when you put them on. It's the bigger one. The big it one's on the right hand see. side. So it's weird. Doesn't look. This is the bigger one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In the video, it's a bit ambiguous. Okay. Oh, how weird. Yeah. Okay. So and and remember too that when you when you're lining up the the edges of this pocket lining, you're not actually lining it up with this like with this corner here because the, because it's angled. You're actually line making sure that the distance from here, which is the edge of the pocket, to this edge here is the same on that side as it is on this side because if you line it up with the with this edge here, it'll just be a centimetre, whereas it needs to be like, you know, 1.2, 1.3 centimetres there at the, at the actual points. stitch line. Yeah, yeah. Just yep. six mil down yep. on top. Okay. Um, otherwise it won't be even when you pull it through. Mm -hmm. Now I'll just grab some pins. Okay, you got grab some pins. All right, so I've grabbed some pins. So I can actually see the my black thread through through the fabric here. So if I could actually I could take the easy way out and just stitch that, but um, but because we'll be you know you'll be using a matching thread, you won't see it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pin each end, and this is the same as the single well a similar thing to the single welt that you did on the back of the shorts too. So I pinned at both ends. And I'm going to flip this over now, and I'm just going to make sure that it hasn't moved underneath. And then I'm just going to stitch, and you don't have to start right at the end, you can st start like a millimetre back or so. I'm just going to stitch through that original row of stitching there. So right over the top of that original row. Just to hold that, and you can see that I've, not, I've held that in place now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's on one side. And now the other side here. Now what this is also to when we when we sew this, what we can't do is like on our on our other welt pocket because this was square here, we could just take this across and that would that would work for the opening. Um, and that will actually work on this end because when we flip this over, mm. you know, like it'll cover up the, the, the stitch line, will, the opening will be covered up by this. Yeah. But down this end here, if we go straight across, the actual opening will be exposed when we flip the, um, flip the, the facing up, the, the actual, sorry, the actual welt up. So with this one, we can start, um, near the end there but on the other end uh, on the other so, end yeah. we have to bring it back a little bit mm. so, so there you can see how I've, I've angled that so that when we flip this yeah. up and turn that back the opening won't, it will actually it'll still be covered yeah. by so the weld it's just like five okay. mil. Yeah, so it's sort of like you know, if you go, if you follow this line, you know, going up that yeah. way, oh, maybe yes, even exactly. a maybe even a stitch Parallel further in. Edge. Yeah, so this one starts in the same place mm -hmm. because that will be covered up by this end. Mm -hmm. This one here has to come in slightly. Yeah. Okay, so we've got now we've got our, our lining stitched in place, and now we're just going to clip. So actually, I'll do this from the other side so you can see what's happening. So I'm just cutting through. Center. Through the center of the pocket now. Again, just like we did with our, our single welt pocket. And I'm going to clip up to the end there. Right to the stitching. Yeah, right to the stitch line. Okay, so I'm just like just a tiniest little bit back from there. way of saying it <laughs> and it's good if you've got a really sharp pair of 
snippers as well. Why is there? They can get those little quilting scissors too. Uh, quite that's good true. Precision. And some people even and like their their dressmaking scissors are quite good too. Yeah. So you can see now I've got this little a little V at each end, like we did on the other one. So now we've got the opening. So we need to push all of this through to the other side. And you can see, because see that's it's slightly, it's more of an angle. Mm. So when I lift that up, it's actually, it's Cut covered around. up there. And the same on this side, Great. it's covered up there. Right. So now just make sure everything's sitting nice and flat on the back there. Nice and flat. Now you don't have to you don't have to stitch inside here. You don't have to stitch in there because we're going to put a row of stitching on top and that'll hold it all in place. Same on the other end. Okay. So just starting on the right welt on itself. The, right. On the welt, but yet yeah, right near the stitch line mm -hmm. there. Just a real pin stitch. That edge there, and I'll just snip these two ends off so you can see. Oops, so that's the one end, and of course, if you're using matching thread, it'll be it'll be less obvious. And then on this side here, starting at the point. Oops. All right, and I've actually gone past that, so I'll I'll have to unpick that because it's not too far. It's a bit heavy footed. So if Carla can pause, I'll just unpick this. Okay, yep, Mark's just unpicked that. So I've just unpicked it because I went too far. Let me start at the corner again. And remember that you can put it, like you can put it in place if you need to. The needle, yep. Yeah, before you start, yep. And you can lift the foot up and place it down into position too before mm. you do the back tack. And stop yep. in exactly the right place. Just if you've got a easy. if you've got a thicker fabric too, there's also a way that you can sort of pull pull this back and actually stitch in here, so oh, the yeah. stitch is less obvious, which is pretty cool. Um, yes, yeah, so you can ask me about that if you if you think yours might work in that regard. All right, so now we've stitched both ends here. You can see the pocket lining in there, um, and now I just have to stitch around. The pocket to close it and you can see it's slightly you know our lengths are slightly out um, which is a bit weird they should match um, but just use the like you know use the pieces as a guide and just use the shorter one um, as your guide so then we're just going to have just going to have a one centimeter seam around here Sure that it's all sitting nice and flat and that you don't get a bulge in there going around. Okay. So we've stitched all the way around there. And because this will be on the inside, if you go if you've got an unlined jacket, you might have to like bind the edges or deal with that differently if you're having a chest pocket. But if you've got the lining, this will be inside the lining of the jacket, so you don't need to do anything with those edges. Wonderful. And then we have our, our finished pocket. Great. Well done.